There's a new arts organization in town called Solo Magic, and it is the brainchild of the supremely talented dance artist and choreographer, Jade Solomon Curtis. Hello. Hi. It's so great to have you here. <laughs> Thank you for Your having me. Your beautiful self. Now, many people know you from Spectrum Dance. Mm -hmm. You were with them for about four years, is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So. The distance from going from being part of a dance company to founding your own organization, that's a huge leap, right? So yeah. what's behind that? Why'd you want to do it? Well, a lot of it had to do with my experience being in the arts and all of my friends who are either Grammy or Emmy um, winning artists mm -hmm. and visual artists and me wanting to figure out how can I bring together all of these artists and myself mm -hmm. and create work around a singular message. And so that's how Solo Magic was spawned. Now, I know you're, you kind of your tagline of art is our activism. Yes. Right. What does that mean? Well, we talk about social issues, mm -hmm. um, and the whole point of having different artists is so that we can actually use different forms of communication to, to, to communicate one singular message. Mm -hmm. um, in my experience, people who come to dance shows don't always understand what they're watching, no, they um, because they're like, oh, it's abstract, mm -hmm. I don't get it. Mm -hmm. I, what's what the is, message what's that mean? Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and my idea was to bring together visual artists, people, uh, animators, mm -hmm. um, musicians, DJs. Outside of the dance scene, right? Completely outside in, of the right? dance mm -hmm. scene. Bring them together um, and create work around a singular message and, and enhance the message and, and the communication so that people in the audience can understand exactly what it is that we're trying to talk trying about. Trying to communicate. Yeah. So the first show out of the Solo Magic Gate is going to be a series of five solos that mm -hmm. you are choreographing and you're performing for yourself. Yes. And the title is Black Like Me, an Exploration of the Word Nigger. Yes. Now, that's a very loaded title. We that talked it about is. it earlier, like it was hard for me, like, can I say this? Yeah. So you obviously chose those words for a very specific, particular reason. Mm -hmm. So tell me about the title and tell me about the work. Black Like Me was first workshopped uh, with Central District Form at Velocity. Mm -hmm. um, for their production of Showing Out. Mm -hmm. And so there were five black choreographers who got together and presented their work. And in that iteration of the work, it was called Black Like Me. And um, to be honest, I ran from the the title that it is now, um, mainly because I, I was afraid of the word, mm -hmm. and I was also afraid of the perception and maybe the backlash that would come from using that title. Mm -hmm. um, and then I just said, the hell with it. Yeah, what's the <laughs> what, what was the tipping point here? Yeah, um, I couldn't run away from it. Mm -hmm. the, the, the music, uh, all of the, the inspiration for the work, of, of course, is hip hop music. But then also walking down the street, I remember this happened in 2011. Uh, I was walking down the street, I had just moved here mm -hmm. with a former company member of Spectrum. And she and I had just left a club. We were out hanging out. And a, a white guy sat in the windowsill of a restaurant and said, I didn't know niggers came down here. And Whoa. that was tra somewhat traumatizing, yeah. right? Because I hadn't had a, an experience like that um, mm. in a very long time and hadn't been called a nigger directly. Mm. Um, there's, there's always this air and this energy mm. behind um, people who may perceive me that way mm. um, and may treat me that way, but never saying it directly mm -hmm, to me. Mm -hmm. um, and so having that experience, I was like, really taken aback mm -hmm. and that stu stayed with me until now. Mm -hmm. um, so that also contributed to me wanting to create this work. Mm -hmm. um, and the piece is it's a lot. It's a lot of things. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm <laughs> there's sure. there's um, projections and a lot of historical um, references. Um, and the whole point is projections to, like video or film. Is that what you're talking both. about? Both. Okay. Got both it. video and film. Mm -hmm. um, but the whole point is to to ask the question, has this word been transformed? Mm -hmm. um, people in, in, in hip hop and just, I, I would say, mm -hmm. 
millennials mm -hmm. or whatnot have added an A to the word and somehow it means something different. Mm -hmm. It's it's a, a become a term of endearment, people like to say. However, um, it's my belief, especially with the historical context, that it has not been transformed mm -hmm. and that it cannot be mm -hmm. transformed. Mm -hmm. um, and so um, that's the impetus for the work and yeah. why I'm creating it. Yeah. 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 I love that. So um, going forward in terms mm -hmm. of the process of who you're going to choose to continue to do work for under the uh, umbrella of Solo Magic, mm -hmm. how are you going to choose other other artists besides yourself to perform? Well, the, the whole point is to bring together artists that want to talk about a singular message. Okay. And so Solo Magic will essentially curate a message um, and, or an idea. Um, and then we will bring in artists who want to contribute to it. Um, and definitely multidisciplinary artists, so right. not just dance. You're going to make a difference. There's no question about it. Oh, Solo Magic. <laughs> uh, so Solo Magic will debut with the world premiere of Black Like Me, an exploration of the word nigger, choreographed and performed by Jade Solomon Curtis, March 24th and 25th at Fred's Wildlife Refuge on Capitol Hill. Thank you so much. Thank and you. And congratulations. Wow. Thank you. We are lucky to have you here. Oh, thank you. You know what else we're lucky to have here? Those shoes. Ah! Let's see. Come on. Let me see. Ooh. Look at that. Can you walk? Yeah. You can. Wow. I well, got you're it. You're a dancer. You're a god. You got the body for it. Those are fabulous. You thank look you. great. Thank you.